traditionally we would say modern trade general trade and rural that is the way we would define channels and over time we've discovered it's not the right way uh, it's uh, what you go to the store for uh, you know if you want to put some sort of words around it what is the shopping mission and i'll give you an example and if you think about yourself a lot of people go to chemists to buy personal care products uh, especially if you don't want to get into a modern trade store because it's crowded check in you know stuff uh, when you have to check out you have to wait uh, so you will have for example in bombay stores like wellness forever where people go to buy top end personal care and why do they go to a chemist because a lot of shoppers believe that one of course the stores are neat and clean and they have fresh products because pkd is a important concept in the uh, pharma industry now if i want to reach out to them i can't say a chemist is a general trade store because it's not like a normal kirana store where i sell surf and you know anapurna atta we talk about provision stores what we call kirana outlets where okay. people do the monthly shopping typically closed format you can't enter the store uh, we'll have a lot of open grains you know the, the typical bags of atta right. etc uh that's why most people do the monthly shopping so that that's what we call provision stores uh then we have uh, what we call general stores which are uh, not chemists but stores which are neat clean do not keep open products everything is packaged they package their own atta etc and you know the close to 100000 stores like this in urban india uh and then we have all the smaller mom and pop stores we have food stores where people go to buy food products specifically one format of it is the bakeries in the south right. very very common and then you have the mom and pop the kiosk stores which is what sanjeev probably calls top up stores because right. you know buy a toothpaste you don't want to go to a big store then you have the supermarkets and the hypermarkets and the beauty chains the health and glows of the world so we have currently 13 formats uh, we have out of home our ice cream business and right. again it's a big uh, uh, you know the way shoppers behave uh, it's 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 the only format where shoppers become consumers at the same point we realize that there's nothing called general trade or modern trade even in a modern trade the way you behave in a hypermarket or a supermarket or a convenience store or a health and glow is very different right. and therefore we we have people who who work around these uh, so all 13 channels are not important in india that's the global unilever uh, definition but there are 6 7 channels which you focus on and we create customized packages both for the retailers in that channel and for the shoppers who come there very small but um, we see it as a very very good opportunity to interact with people a lot of people come to e-commerce sites for information right and um, uh, you know with the kind of traffic they have uh, it's it makes a lot of sense to um, tell people about products the quantum of business is less but um, i guess over time some model will work out currently it's not we, i guess there's not a very sustainable model around grocery or e-commerce right now yeah. but uh, we are very excited because of the chance to interact with the consumer we work with localbaniya.com right, huh. bigbasket.com we work very closely with them and we also realize uh, people are looking for different things online so what is true uh, you know even within like i said there's nothing called modern trade when you go to a dmart versus a big bazaar you're looking for different things the idea is to customize as long as you can get the scale i mean otherwise you would customize for every each and every of the 7 million stores but yes. does not work like that so e-commerce we are trying to create that package around it